So we're back down working on the wagon. Um, so I'm not going to call this part two the install. This is just a little extra bit. So what I'm going to do right now is install a reversing camera. So I have one here from work. This was it's a proper camera. It was just left over from a kit, so I whacked it in this bag. So we have a little butterfly style reversing camera. There's a few different ones we do. This is the best style one that we do. Like it's even the best quality. I'm also going to run speaker wires up through here. Obviously the cables will run down. Through there I'm going to replace this shitty split tubing too. Um, which is ancient. Um, so I'm going to replace all that too. So but I'll run some speaker wires because it's not confirmed yet but there may be speakers going up in the tailgate as more of a, a kind of a, a solution to fill a, a park or a room, like fill an area as a, like a, you know, for like a PA system type of thing. If you want to like bullshit loud speakers here um, for that kind of thing so you can open it up and like be the party. Now if you're ever doing like a reverse camera and you talk worst case scenario, this is it. Um, so absolutely terrible to do a camera in. So this is my speaker wire. I've actually got four runs of wire going through here um, because there's going to be a lot of shit going up in here. And I'm just, when I saw how hard this is going to be, I thought, look, I'll run all the wire I can so I never have to do this again. RCA is actually going through another grommet that's in the middle there and coming out around this side. Now I've had to cut the head off the, head off the RCA for starters. So I have to re-solder it because you will not fit it through. It's very tight, but that's not the worst part. The worst part is, this roof lining isn't a, like a, a piece, it's actually glued to the roof. So I've only peeled it down there a little, I'll have to glue it back up, but um, there's, there's no way to actually get these speaker wires down here, um, because this is actually a solid piece of steel, um, and it's not open at any point. Um, so I'm either going to have to drill a hole up in there, and then run them through and, and, make, and drill a hole down here, or run them right along to the A pillar, uh, sorry, to the B pillar there, run them down and then back because the amp will be somewhere in the back here. We make it look nice. So, we got a big grummet in there, filling that hole. Um, there was literally nothing in there before, so I mean, water could have got into it, so now I've put a grummet in there, nice and tight. That's actually some like a uh, hosing you would use for like, um, for like a vacuum hose on a car. I've actually used that for the camera lead. Looks nice though, black hose there. And that hole is pretty tight, so that actually fits right into that one. And then over here, we've got some really big split tubing for my zero gauge. And I've got that crammed through about that much on each side, so it'll stay in there. I've got factory earth there for the earth on the camera. And I've just deadened the actual leads up in there for now. Um, obviously, if I build something on here, I might have to move them or in some kind of way. But for now, they're neatly up there. There's my camera installed. Um, I, t I use those gold screws, they don't rust. So, but when you put it down, it's just a little, little butterfly camera. Nothing fancy, obviously, lead just disappears neatly behind. Oh, fuck, these, these struts are stuck. Just disappears into there and comes through the factory grommet. Now, in the car here at the B pillar, the wires are running along the roof lining above this handle through here, and they are running into a hole there I had to cut out with an air saw. Okay, and they run flat, all the wires, with that, so that they could run through the B pillar and run out the bottom there. That is literally the only way, I guarantee, to run those wires in this car, uh, except going all the way to the A pillar. But these cables here, these speaker cables, have to go to the, to the back to the wagon, so I had to loop them back now so they go back to, into the wagon, into the, into the back. So if I did them to the A pillar, they wouldn't have been long enough. So. That's that. Um, camera cable is that's the entire length of it. Again, I had to cut the head off it to actually fit it through. So I have to extend it now to the front. Uh, once I've extended it, then I'll put the end back on it. That's a five meter cable too. It's just this is by far one of the hardest. Well, again, again, I, I'm working it out. It's not a big deal for me, but if, if someone else who hadn't done this kind of thing before was tackling this, they'd either take days to do it or destroy their car. I've also found a reverse. Um, just in the loom, just here. This loom here is reverses in that, so I can just tap off that, which makes life easy. Six hours later, literally, it took that long. We now have a camera and uh, speaker wires ran. Without the speaker wires, I might have saved an hour or two of my time, but still, you know, if, when I'm at work, camera install on like a, say, a VX Commodore, 
It's like an hour job. It's kind of dark in here, but the lux on the camera is pretty good, so... There we go. Not bad for a little camera. These ones have a pretty good uh, picture on these, so... Cool. As you can see, there's the bumper on the car. So, let me put my foot on the brake light. You can see the red lighting up in it. Not a bad camera, these ones. Um, yeah, cool, awesome. I mean, like, you can see quite good detail. So the camera is not very exciting. I mean, you've probably seen cameras installed, but um, the main thing I want to show is how long it took. But still, you know, I've got to do it neat. This car is going to be a nice finished product, so may have taken ages but we got it done properly you know the only way it could be but it's all neat um, and also just unveiling for you is that there may be something really cool happening in the actual hatch itself um, with all that speaker wire around so something cool definitely might be happening up there but otherwise we've got that nice and neat and we're good to go so anyway that's it guys and uh, stay tuned for the next part of the build which will be uh, the power windows and then the doors